Hello everyone, my name is Roman Gershman and I am the author of DragonflyDB project. Uh, DragonflyDB is an in-memory data store that is fully compatible with uh, Redis and MQHD. Uh, and today we will see a live demo of creating a database snapshot in both DragonflyDB and Redis servers while they are handling live traffic in parallel. Uh, we'll see how fast DragonflyDB is and how its memory usage uh, consistent during the snapshotting while Redis memory usage increases dramatically. Uh, this uh, demo follow-ups on my latest blog post called Balanced versus Unbalanced. Uh, in this blog post, I explained the architectural decisions behind uh, uh, the snapshotting algorithm in both systems and the reasons for the performance differences. And if, you, if you are curious about in-memory store innovation, this blog post is an interesting read and if you haven't seen it yet, I encourage you to read it after watching this video. Okay, let's start our demo. So what I have here uh, is uh, two uh, cloud instances that uh, both have a 61 gigabyte of RAM and uh, 16 cores. And on the left side, I am going to run a Redis server. Uh, let's actually uh, check it. Yeah, it's a Redis server uh, version 6, a standard, uh, standard version that is uh, deployed on uh, Ubuntu. Uh, and uh, on the right, I am running uh, Dragonfly uh, server, uh, latest from the master that I just built uh, on, on this machine. Uh, and what I'm going to do is um, to fill up uh, both servers with uh, 50 million keys. Each uh, entry will hold values of length 550. Um, and the reason why, I'm, uh, uh, why I chose those numbers is uh, that I'd like to uh, fill up uh, both servers with uh, memory usage, approximately half of the memory capacity, so around 30 gigabyte of uh, uh, used memory. And uh, you can see that uh, Dragonfly already finished uh, filling itself up, and we can see, check, uh, yeah, it has uh, 50 million keys, and uh, its memory, used memory, the one that is allocated by, by the application is uh, tw 26 gigabyte, and its RSS memory is how the Linux OS uh, sees the process from outside, how much memory pages it allocated for this process. So it's 26.6 gigabyte. And you can see that the total physical memory usage on this machine is 27 gigabyte. And similarly, um, Redis server finished after 55 seconds uh, and the Dragonfly finished after five seconds. Uh, so Redis server finished and you can see that it's uh, memory usage, uh, used memory. The one that is allocated by uh, by Redis server is 33 gigabytes, um, uh, and RSS is uh, also very similar, uh, 33.5. And the total physical memory that is being used by all processes is uh, around it's 34 gigabytes exactly, not around. Uh, so uh, next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to send override traffic. What does it mean override traffic? I'm going to limit a maximum key to a uh, in my low-test program to 50 million, so that no new keys will be added to uh, a server. And also the value of each key uh, is going to be 500. So we filled up uh, before, we uh, filled up each server with a values uh, of length 550. And now we are sending, overriding keys, entries with uh, values that are strictly shorter than uh, servers, uh, both servers had. And right now I'm sending traffic to ready server, uh, and I'm going to do the same with uh, uh, Dragonfly server, and let's let's see what happens. Uh, so you can see that the Dragonfly on the right uh, is pretty busy. All its cores are working, and also Redis server it's single threaded, so it's currently running on a CPU number zero, and uh, this CPU is uh, loaded at 100%. Uh, also pretty busy, and you can see that uh, uh, you have uh, you can see the difference between memory usage, and we haven't even started running VGSafe. So you can see that Redis server is, is already at almost 40 gigabyte of RAM usage and Dragonfly is the same. It was 27 gigabyte and uh, it stayed uh, the same uh, memory capacity. Uh, let's see. Let's actually see that the number of keys hasn't changed. And uh, let's take a random key. Yeah, you can see that the key was overridden. Uh, its length is 500 and not 550. Uh, Let's see here. Uh, it also was overridden. Um, I can see that both databases has, uh, have keys. Uh, yeah, so uh, you can see the drastic uh, difference between memory usage even before you, we applied BGSafe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run BGSafe on Redis and I'm going to run BGSafe on Dragonfly. 
and in order to track a uh, Redis BG save operation, which is asynchronous and uh, is running in, uh, on the background, I'm going to uh, periodically call uh, info persistence command, uh, and you can see that VG save command on Redis is running for uh, 20 seconds, 23, uh, it's still in progress, and uh, and meanwhile, uh, BG save on Dragonfly uh, has finished after 10 seconds, and its memory usage hasn't changed. Uh, mean, meanwhile, on Redis, it's already crossed uh, 54 gigabytes of RAM, and it's still going up. Um, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run an even faster version of VGSafe in Dragonfly. By the way, um, uh, VGSafe in uh, Dragonfly is, is uh, fully compatible and produces the same like compatible snapshot as uh, with Redis. So you can uh, take a Dragonfly snapshot and load it in Redis and vice versa. We're compatible with uh, Redis 6. Uh, but we have our own... Uh, Dragonfly specific format, which is uh, uh, much faster, and I'm going to run it now. It's also asynchronous, also like uh, allows uh, performing writes in parallel. You can see that the Dragonfly is working; it re it's receiving writes, and you can see that it finished in six seconds. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, Redis server already reached 60 gigabytes of usage, almost 60 gigabytes, and the VGSafe process has been running for 110 seconds. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's been it's dropping. I'm guessing that it finished. Yeah, uh, BG save in progress zero. So it took 113 seconds uh, to run BG save, and the memory usage meanwhile uh, dropped to 49 gigabyte of RAM. Um, okay, uh, you could guess what will happen if we run BG save again, and we'll do it right now. And meanwhile, on Dragonfly. Let's step our uh, step up our game, and we'll run a save df command, uh, like creating uh, snapshots on Dragonfly, uh, in in a loop. Okay, just one after another. Let's see what happens here. You can see that the memory usage of Dragonfly is sta stayed at the uh, mark 27 gigabyte. So I'm running a BG save once again for Redis, and it's it's reached 61 gigabyte, and our yeah. Our uh, parent process has crashed. We lost the connection to a parent process. Um, let's see. Yeah, we have only child process that survived the crash. And actually, the parent process, the one that uh, holds all the data, disappeared. It crashed. Um, let's see. Yeah, and uh, meanwhile, BGSave is running uh, without the parent. So we lost our memory store uh, with Redis. Meanwhile, Dragonfly uh, keeps uh, receiving uh, those um, snapshots, and its memory hasn't ch changed. It's still 27 gigabytes. Um, anyway, uh, that's what, what I wanted uh, to show you, and uh, you can see how Dragonfly is much more reliable in terms of memory usage. Uh, at uh, its peak, uh, its memory was 27 gigabyte, and uh, when Redis started, it was uh, 34, 33 gigabyte of RAM. Um, without even traffic, live traffic, and without running BGSafe. You see this huge difference in memory usage. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Bye-bye.